It is a book of memories and wonders, a personal testament of a magical time in American music from someone who was there at the center of it all. Please welcome Canadian music legend Robbie Robertson with this book, Testimony. Thank you. Well, well, where do we begin? It's a fascinating read in vivid detail. You take us back to the details of the early days growing up in Toronto in a Six Nations Reserve. And you talk about the fact that you have pretty much through DNA from your birth dad had this ability to recall information. So can we get into that? Because it's unbelievable to see what you are remembering from even the early days. How did you get this gift from your birth dad? It's funny because when I was a young kid and I could remember so much and other kids didn't, I thought, what is it? Am I just not cool? They're, you know, they don't care. They don't remember. Yeah. And I'm remembering all of this stuff. And also, my mother had a great memory. So I guess it just rained down on me, and I was able to, uh, I was able to draw these things out of that deep bank that we all have back there. Mm -hmm. That being said, this did take five years to write. You had 800 pages, and of course, you know, it was trimmed down a little bit since then. And this is the first 33 years of your life that's documented. So I feel like we could very much expect a two and maybe even a three. Once you've opened up Pandora's box, as it were, of memories, <laughs> do you feel like this will continue into a second and a third? Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Um, when I first finished this, I thought, oh, my God, I'll, I'll, I'll never be able to conjure up the strength uh, to continue on with this. But after a while, that, that started to come back to me, and I'm still on a roll, and uh, I'm, uh, now I'm really looking forward to it. Let's talk about, I love the story, when you were 14 years old, the one and only uh, Buddy Holly gave you advice. Like, there's so many stars, and you know, from the Beatles, it's unbelievable the people that you've met within that first short period of your life. And he gave you some really great advice as to how to get the best sound out of a guitar. Can you share that? <laughs> yeah, I, it was at Maple Leaf Gardens, and it was one of those o old Alan Freed shows where there was many great artists on this show. And I was so intrigued by Buddy Holly and the Crickets. And after the show, I, I kind of just, I stuck around and, and hoped that nobody would throw me out. <laughs> and, and then I saw him packing up his equipment, putting his guitar away. And I said, Mr. Hawley, I just, I have to ask you a question. I said, the sound coming out of your amplifier, this, it's so powerful. It's so between your eyes. How in the world do you make that happen? And he put his guitar down and he walked over towards me and he said, you play guitar? I said, yes, sir, I'm trying. He said, well, I'll tell you a little secret. He said, in my amp, I blew one of the speakers, and I liked the sound of it, so I left it. Never fixed it, because it sounded better. <laughs> right. That's all it takes. It's these yeah. little insider secrets. You dedicate a large portion of the book to what is fast approaching, the 40th anniversary of The Last Waltz. Wow. People say it is the greatest film concert ever documented, thanks to your good friend now, Martin Scorsese. So what was it like at that time? Did you feel that you were doing something that would be pretty much immortalized forever in terms of, you know, the music? Hall of Fame and seen as this incredible moment in time with these classic songs and people joining you. Were you aware of that at the time? Not really. Um, you know, it's it's hard to see into the future, as we know, you know. You got to take it one day at a time. Mm -hmm. And when we were doing this, there was so much involved and so much we were trying to get right. And we were trying really hard to play well with all of these different guests that we were having. Going from Joni Mitchell to Muddy Waters. I'll tell you, it wasn't like, and, and we don't read music or anything, so there was no cheat sheets or there or anything. It was all about memory. And we were, you know, with the artists and one another, everybody was shooting looks and and clues and, and, and just to keep really on top of what was happening. Mm -hmm. And we played the whole night and did some of our own songs as good as we'd ever did them and never 
made a mistake on anybody's song. Isn't that it something? It was Guinness Book of Record stuff. Isn't that something? And uh, I love the fact that you said you didn't want this to be another book about rock and roll, right? Sex, drugs. There is that stuff in there. Don't get me wrong, but you do tell some juicy secrets. But you did make sure that you were very respectful to everyone. And I think that's a really classy and cool thing of you to do because you could have gone many ways with all of the things you've seen and done. So it's a brilliant read. Getting rave yeah. reviews. Cannot wait to see the second. Pick it up, everybody. It's called Testimony by Rob Robertson and Commander Hatfield said he played your music in space. That's awesome. You know, that's where we're all going to go. Right? <laughs> Maybe a future collaboration. Uh, Who knows? Thank yeah. you so much. We'll be back Thank with you. more BT right after this. Where am I?